case who turned out to be a defining moment for our nation. I spoke with one of the uh, folks who was in the reception just a few moments ago. He told me that he was in China watching the vote on international television when it was taken. And he said, you would have had to be there to understand how important this was to the rest of the world. All the former presidents support it, along with former secretaries of state, defense, trade, transportation, national security advisors, chairs of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, religious leaders, many of the courageous people in China fighting for human rights and the rule of law. That this agreement exchanges membership rights for China in the WTO for economic opportunities for America in China for American businesses and American workers without the tariffs and technology transfer requirements and production in China requirements and other requirements which have limited our ability to benefit from their market for too long. So economically, the case is clear and compelling. So how many of you know somebody, maybe friends, family, maybe even yourself, that has been affected by a factory or other jobs moving out of the country? And we all know it's just getting worse, right? Since the PNTR was passed, we have lost a lot of our manufacturing sector. These are some companies that call themselves American companies, but continue to ship jobs out of our country. In this documentary, I'll be showing you more companies like this, what the government is doing to help USA companies and level the playing field with other countries and their non-restrictions, and some made in the USA companies that not only create jobs, they help their communities out as well. Buying a product not made in the USA is helping us pollute our skies, oceans, and waterways at a faster pace than ever. And the worst part about it is, the pollution or faulty product usually ends up on your plate, or it might even end up in your kids' hands. And we can all thank big corporations like Walmart to buy it up and make millions, shoot, maybe even billions, and then sell to us and wash their hands. What do you think really happens when a town or city loses 30,000 jobs? Do you remember GM and the bailout money? Well, they lost the government $11 billion when they sold their share. In fact, a lot of the bailed out companies and other big companies have been paying no taxes. How is this possible? I'll be showing you all this and more on my documentary, Made in the USA. This is the price of free trade. Check us out on Facebook slash Rare Status. I'll be showing you live interviews and keeping you updated on my research. Made in the USA, this is the price of free trade.